tests. I was morbidly obese. So you have a fat person, you have an obese person, and then you have a two obeses plus the fat, they eat each other and you have that one. That was me at some stage of my life. Hey, 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 sexy family, how are you doing today? First of all, let me start by saying that our live on YouTube yesterday was super cool. We were like three hours together and we had so much to talk about and so much, so much, and you guys were amazing. And we had a date, we had a date going on. We ordered pizza, we had sex with the pizza guy, we ate a Kit Kat chocolate lava pizza, which was amazing, and then we went to bed together. We will do it more times. We really had a good time. So, as I told you on my first daily vlog, I have four secrets I want to tell you. One of them will be to speak when I'm okay with it because it's kind of complicated. And then I gave you three secrets that you could choose the order I will be uploading them. So it was secret one, two, and three. I will upload one this Saturday, today, one in the next Saturday, the second Saturday of March, and one on the third Saturday of March. So we have three secrets, three Saturdays, three amazing stories. I'm gonna feel ashamed with maybe one of them because you guys might not understand it very well and the other two are kind of funny and I, I, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. You, on the comments, you were very going to, you were going to number one and number three. All the comments were going one and three, one and three and I gave you the words for it. I gave you the first letter and the last letter and then I put the spaces between so you could try to guess it or try to pick it and today we are going to start with number one. A lot of comments about number one, a lot of them. You guys just one, 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 one. The secret number one started with the O and ended with the E and F, three spaces. So you wanna say a letter? Okay, say a letter. B, correct. S, correct. E, correct. O, B, okay. And actually one of you guessed it. Anderson Chang, you got it right, yeah. I went to your channel, you had one subscriber, now you have two. We are friends now and uh, you have one video in your channel. I watched the video, 30 seconds and the video is called A Pharmacist Girl Eating Shrimp. It's the most random, random video I think I watched. It, it's a pharmacist Asian girl eating shrimp. It looks like one of those videos you can buy on, on Shutterstock or Pound5, those websites where you buy a stock video and you write businessman eating bananas on top of his desk while dancing a kulala and you have Chinese pharmacist girl eating shrimp. Spot on. I was obese. I was more than obese. I was morbidly obese. So you have a fat person, you have an obese person and then you have a two obeses plus the fat, they eat each other and you have that one. That was me at some stage of my life. I was, well, I'm okay now. I'm, I'm okay. I born with 4.5 kilograms. I don't know how much that is in pounds. It's, it's like a big baby. Like, you know, little baby comes out, you hold it. I come out, you hold it. You know, my mom went to a coma. No, I'm joking. She never was the same person again. That's why she only had one son. That's me, I'm only son. She had me and she said, Fuck me, never again. The maximum weight I had was 181 kilos. Yes, you heard it right. There was a stage that I was 181 kilograms. In pounds, 400 pounds. That's a lot, right? It was 400 pounds. I was like, uh, I was big. So let's start with this picture here. Can you guess where I am? No, uh, starting from the left, no, I'm not the second guy, I'm not the fourth guy, not the fifth, not the sixth, not the seventh. Yes, I'm, I'm that big fellow there. This is me, this is me with 16 years old. Here I was like 140 kilos. Uh, I was in, in Cape Verde, uh, I went in holidays with my mom. This was me when I was studying uh, veterinary school. You know, uh, we say prashadus, how do you say when you go and you are a freshman, right? So they do this, these horrible things to you. That was me, I was like 160 here. This is me as well, that was one of my best friends back in the time. This was in one of my hitchhikings when I was 16. That guy is me. Uh, if, you, if you notice the arm, my arm behind his, his head, that's just a little bit of the arm. My arm was like that. This was me as well when I was um, maybe 17. Yeah, I know, strange hair. I had all the weirdest haircuts you can imagine. The weirdest haircuts you can imagine. I had smiles on my face and stuff like that. And, oh, my face, on my head. So we have this one. Let's see if I can smile as I'm doing. Uh, let me just zoom in. Ready? 
No. <laughs> no. Okay, I don't care if you don't think it's me. I think you guys noticed that all these years that I was doing YouTube with Pedro uh, on the channel, I never, like, we went to the beach and you never saw me without my shirt on. On Sexy Funny Kitchen, I never got undressed. Guys always ask, why don't take your shirt off already? And that was the number one question in the channel. Because, you know, when you lose 100 kilos, which is 200 pounds or something, like, your body doesn't stay in... I'm okay, but, you know, it's just not the perfect six pack you know my lucky is that i am one meter 94 so i'm i'm like six foot five or something so i'm really tall so i, I was never that very big guy i was kind of a i was kind of a rock um like a, a bulldozer I, I was like bro now i have fit legs fit arms and everything is okay but i don't feel very comfortable with my um, with my belly going on. If you want to have an idea about how fat I was and uh, how obese I was, every plane journey that I did, we had to buy two tickets because I literally occupy two tickets. My ass was big. Those plastic chairs, I broke those plastic chairs when I sit down on them. My clothes, now I have a L, this is a L, and back in the time it was 7XL. My shoe size, it was 51. That's like a 12 in America or 13, I don't know. And now it's 48 or 49, depends on the shoe. So I lost shoe size because my feet were big. My normal meal will be three or four chickens, depending on how hungry I was, with a bunch of rice, a bunch of fries, two liters of Coke, and I was just eating it. Don't ask me why I ate so much. I really love food and I was really enjoying that. It was just my thing. And look, there was a time of my life when I was ashamed of myself somehow, when I was younger. So if I, if I went to the beach, I was not going to take my shirt off. I know, it, it, I was always like, oh, people are going to look at me and they're going to, to judge me somehow. It was difficult in one time as I got a little bit older and I got a little bit more, I was getting knowledge from, I was reading a lot, I, I, I was, I, I had good friends, my mother was a, a shrink, a psychologist, she, she still is. I learned a lot and I got stronger with time. Some kids at my school, they tried to bully me many, many times and it never worked out for them, never. Because um, I had a huge personality and I had a huge charisma. The only reason I was fat is because a tiny body could not fit so much personality in, so I was just, I was just big. It didn't work out. I was happy, I was having fun, I had my friends. Most of all, things were going okay. Being fat is okay in, in many ways. First of all, you are harder to kidnap, which is a very positive thing nowadays. Guys and girls with curves are sexy. In my opinion, sexiness is what comes out from your mouth. That's what sexy is. Of course, we have society standards and, you know, every model looks like very handsome at this own way and then I love when I see those modeling campaigns from Dove and other brands uh, where they have girls with curves. I love it. It's beautiful. Some people don't feel comfortable with it. I have very fat friends and, and they are very uncomfortable with being like that. But. Um, since I have been sharing with them my, my ways of losing my weight and, and, and my diet and, and everything else that I did, they started to get better. Um, some started to lose weight, some started to feel better. I was constantly joking with it. I went to school uh, with my friends and I was just going to them and I was telling something like, you know, I am so fat that uh, I step on my weighting scale and he told me, I want your weight number, not your zip code, baby. And we laughed and the other day I go and I say like, uh, look, I just ordered um, a costume made Cobra skin belt and I think anacondas are extinct now. Uh, you know, all those, <laughs> all those, all those jokes that I made, I was laughing about it. I was okay with it. What was the other one? I tried to apply to the biggest loser TV show and they denied my application because they have a weight limit. <laughs> so I could not go for it. Oh. Should I take it? You two first. You must be wondering like, hey Lorenzo, but you were so happy while you were fat. So why did you decide to go on a diet and lose a hundred kilos? And the answer is, it's very honest and very simple. I went to a nutritionist and uh, my mom took me to a nutritionist when I was 18. The doctor told me, he gave me a list of problems that I could have 
during my life or in the near future if I continue to eat like that and I have the same habits. And the list starts with sleep apnea, I don't know you say, um, diabetes, heart attacks, strokes. Uh, it, it's a huge list that if you are on the level I was, uh, you can really have some problems with, with your health. And at the same time, I was getting to a state where it was not comfortable to, to walk, I was sweating a lot, I was always tired, my breathing was getting slower, it was impossible to find clothing, I need to order it from American shops online and stuff. I decided to start a huge diet and when I put something in my mind, oh boy, it goes straight to the point. I did um, a big diet, I did a lot of gym, a lot of exercise, it was a, it was a great time. Look, I was so big that losing my weight was hard, but being as big as I was, was even harder. So it compensated very, very well. Bottom line of this video, if you are fat and you feel okay with yourself, perfect. Fat is beautiful. If you are comfortable in your own skin, if you, if you like what's going on, if you don't have problems, keep on doing it. Curves are sexy. Now, if you start to feel uncomfortable and if you start to feel tired and if you start to have health problems maybe that's a sign you could lose some weight and i'm just saying that i decided to lose weight because i like life i like to live and i wanted to live longer that was my idea of losing my weight if you want to live longer you should and everyone around you that likes you wants you to live longer and you also should want so i think losing weight if you are not feeling well if you are not comfortable with, you, with yourself and with your weight and you, with your health all combined, I'll start a diet. Maybe, oh look, you tell me in the comments below if you want me to do a video one of these days about how I lost my 100 kilos, my 200 pounds, I will do it. I will share my, my diet with you and everything else. Uh, it will be a pleasure for me to, to, to share that. And I think that's it. Secret number one is done. So um, I have two more secrets to share. Next Saturday and the other one. Until then, I'm gonna upload a video every day. I'm going to keep doing on daily vlogging. Uh, while I'm not on YouTube, I'm going to be on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The links are on the description. So what you can do now is you can give a like to this video, subscribe to the channel if you still didn't. And yes, uh, I'm going to change the name of the channel soon. Go to Twitter because I'm going to do a pool there so you can help me pick the name. That was one of the things we were doing on the live yesterday. Uh, and I see you tomorrow with uh, Oscar's video because I think I know every single prediction. I'm pretty sure I know and I'm going to share them with you before the Oscars. So kiss kiss, bang bang, I see you tomorrow and never forget to smile. Bye.